Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Welcome to a special episode of our show. We have a great guest on, Sam Pearson is here. Sam and his group have the No Shave November campaign going on for prostate cancer, and we are so proud to have him in. We're gonna do a manly meal for you, just so you guys will go out and see your doctor, make sure you get tested. Great dish, we're gonna do beef, we're gonna do man's nice salad, we're gonna do a great dessert, some good potatoes. Cannot wait to get you guys in here. Let's get busy over here in the kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Man, thank you so much for being with us today. We are really proud to have Sam Pearson on the show. Man, thanks for being here, bud. Well, I appreciate you letting me come down today, thanks. Everything good? Everything's great. What's going on? Are we are we gonna no shave next month? You know, November's a good time to let the hair grow on your face it and be really a manly is. man. Be a manly man. You bet. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a manly man dish, is that's that right? right? It's gonna be all about the man today. Some really good dishes. Cool. And what I'm doing, we're doing the potatoes part of the dish here. Uh, we have a couple of different components. We're going to do the potatoes first. And if you want to tell them what we're making exactly today. Yeah, so right now what we're starting with, we're going to roast some potatoes. And what we do is we get some baby whole potatoes. You can get purples or pinks or, or yellow flesh or red or whatever you would like to have. You want to dice them all up or quarter them up into sizes that are all uniform. And then what we're going to do, once we get some diced up, we're going to put some salt and pepper, just a few grinds of each a little olive oil, and we're going to also use the same uh, seasoning on these potatoes that we're going to use on our steaks in a few minutes, because eventually we're going to be cooking some manly steaks. Okay. Awesome. Sounds really good. That's going to be a great dish. We're going to do a cool dessert, too. You got some berries I saw oh, yeah. to go with it. We got some berries we're going to put together, some somewhat healthy, good fresh berries, but we're going to put a lot of good stuff on it, like cinnamon and sugar and some flour and some topping on that, so we'll have a a good meal topped off with a good dessert. Cool, real nice salad as well. So we have the potatoes all cut and bowled, ready to go, you guys. And from here, it's just about seasoning those guys really good. Yeah, I'm really bad about not measuring. I've been cooking a long time, so I put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But you know, you just want to put enough seasoning. My audience is used to that. Yeah, I know, it's, <laughs> you should measure. But just enough to make it look good. A few grinds of salt, a few grinds of, um, and I'm using a little Himalayan pink salt, and a few grinds of uh, pepper. Not a whole lot. You can always add more after you've uh, brought it out of the oven. One but good clove of fresh garlic. Good garlic in that. set up. You know, I need, we need to mix that up, Chef. You got a spoon we can mix it up with. Yeah, so we've got our oven preheated. Spatulas. Yeah, we've preheated our oven at 400 degrees. And what we're going to do, let me just step over here for just a second. We're going to take a cookie sheet and we're going to put those potatoes on it. But what we're going to do is get the aluminum foil. Kind of mess it up a little bit like this, and what'll happen, the potatoes won't stick to it quite as bad. And it's also a lot easier to wash once it's done. Chef, if you would, I like to spray a little um, Pam or something like that. It's sitting right there, you if you could add it, it to me. Yeah, here you go. Don't need a lot. I'm using a little olive oil, Pam. Just a little bit, about like that. Yeah, it lots works. of starch in the potatoes, and man, they will stick once they're cooked. That lets that starch out, yeah. the sugar's out, and it will stick really bad. So it's a good method. Uh, and we like to use parchment paper on the show, Yep. Um, but the aluminum foil works. What we'll do is in about, uh, we're going to cook this for about 20 minutes or so, but we're going to set it in the oven. You see how we've got it all nice and spread out? It's just one layer. Yes. And then we'll put it in the oven, and then about... 10 minutes, 12 minutes, what we'll do is we'll mix it up again and get a good, nice uh, coating all the way around it. It looks real good. You get a good coating, folks, on there, and that just really helps each potato have that good flavor. That's great. Yeah, and if you got a convection oven, even better. Oh, yeah. Give you a little bit better texture. Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and sit Fire this it up. Fire it up. And so we also have to bake off our dessert. So let's go ahead and get that mixed up, too, so we can get it in the oven. We'll have good timing with everything at the end. It's all about timing, bringing it all off at the same time. 
That can be a little tricky sometimes, but you can do it. Okay. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to start off by, uh, yeah, we'll use this one. Okay. We'll this. okay. We're going to put about four cups of berries. Uh, now we've got some nice fresh berries today. You can always use frozen, whatever happens to be in season. And, uh, you know, whatever kind of berries you like is the kind you should use. Okay. So we got some blueberries. blueberries. We got some Marion berries, a few of those. Love those things. Yeah. Here, got some nice color with some good red in it. There we go. Got those that are pretty good for late in the season. Like yeah, I'll tell you what. Really good. It's good to have fresh berries year round. All right, so now what we've done, now we've already pre mixed this, but we got sugar and some cornstarch that we're going to mix in with the uh, okay. berries. And I'll grab us a rubber spatula. Yeah, we need one of those. So we can get uh, that all mixed up. And this is just pre-measured, you guys, and we'll have the recipe for you. It's just measured out so we can we can just move a little bit forward for you. You're not watching us having to measure out everything. Yeah. The other thing, we're going to put this into a small container. We're going to have individual desserts uh, when it's all said and done. You can also use a 9-inch uh, pie pan, you know, whatever you have. Okay. Let me grab one. All right, I need one more bowl, Chef. There we go. Yeah, here you go. Right here. Let's go ahead and mix this in. This is our topping, correct? That's our topping. We've got to cut a little cold butter. Now, this butter has been uh, right, in, right out of the refrigerator. Need about, uh, let me borrow your knife. I'm going to yeah, go under go there. Go ahead. I'm using about that much, about two tablespoons. And we're going to dice this up. Smaller you dice it, the more it helps. It, it, and the cold butter really just helps spread it throughout the whole part of the topping here. And it'll become really flaky, almost like breadcrumbs, once you get it all mixed together. And just be careful and don't cut your finger while you're doing it. How's that look? That looks great. Get it right Let's in there. Let's go for it. There we go. We will spread this out amongst our ramekins, you guys, the berries, and then we'll put the topping right on there, and it's going to be great. How long do we go in the oven with these guys? About a 400-degree oven for about uh, 25, 30 minutes would be best. And, you know, you, you see what I'm doing? I'm filling these not all the way full, but just about to the top. Smells so good, you guys. Listen, when we get back, we are going to continue on with the dish. We're going to get our steaks marinated. It's going to be a great little recipe. We're doing this all about the guys today. Y'all stick with us. It's cooking today. Be right back. Okay, welcome back, folks. And we are finishing up the dessert right here. Our crumb topping turned out real, real good. And I'm going to put it right over here so you guys can see just the texture of it with the oats, and it's just beautiful. And we'll just finish it out, putting it on top. And Sam, we're gonna put those right onto a cookie sheet. Yeah, we'll put them on a cookie sheet, and that way in case it cooks over, and it's also a lot easier to get the product in and out of the oven. So we took a little cookie sheet, throw a little aluminum foil on it, our parchment paper. We're gonna lay these out, set these out, make sure you get them evenly apart. Yep. Easy to put in the oven, easy to take out. Great, that looks great. And our taters look good down They're there. Good, man. They're looking rocking good. on. So what do we do need to do next? Let's go to the manly steak part of our meal. You Ready got to it. cut some steaks up. Okay, so let's change boards real quick. We'll move that one right to there and we'll get out. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right, awesome. Chef, I'll let you have the honors of cutting up the steak. Okay. And we're gonna marinate the steaks as well. We've already mixed the marinade up. Soy sauce, a little Worcestershire sauce, a little uh, hot sauce in there. Not a lot of hot sauce, just a little bit for some background flavor. But you know what? Mix it up the way that fits you best. So what we've got today is, uh, what, what are we cutting today? We have some strip loin. I have the ends. I cut an entire loin uh, into steaks. And so I have a cup, you know, the end pieces left over. I have a beautiful nice filet. Nice filet I like that. here. That's, that's my, about 12 that's my, yeah, ounces. That's my, that's my right filet there. today, man. It's a big one. So what we're gonna do here is just clean up a little bit of the fat. What I've been loving to do with the steak is just get the fat cleaned up so that it doesn't look like a strip anymore. What I want to do is turn this into just a different piece of meat. It's still a strip. That's good, yep but I can turn this into three nice pieces of meat. That's great. Just like That's that. Great. That way, if you want to slice it, if you want to just leave it as whole as whole cubes like that on the plate, you can do that, and it'll turn out really, really good. Tell you what, Chef, while you're doing that, go I'm ahead, gonna go ahead get, and put yep, them in this. Get them right in the marinade, yep. yep. I'm going to cut up this other one. I'm going to go ahead and take my marinade and go ahead and pour it on. You want to let it marinate five, ten minutes. The longer you marinate it, the more that flavor is going to be in. So, you know, let it go for whatever you feel is best. Just pour it over the top like that. 
Also going to take a little, a little seasoned salt, steak salt. Not a lot. I don't like. Once again, I don't always measure, but I put about a about a teaspoon or a tablespoon, I should say, to sprinkle it over. Yeah, it looks good, man. We're getting all done. That looks great. I got just a little bit too much. I'm gonna put it over here. Take a couple of grinds of a uh, little pink salt, a little pepper. There we go. That looks great. And really just toss these up real, real good just to mix all the flavors in. And so tell me, Sam, what's the story behind, what's the story behind all this? Behind all this. All right, so what we're doing in our office is we're having No Shave November. Okay. And it's all about bringing awareness for prostate cancer and getting guys to get involved. Yes. You know, we want to get involved. So go what we get do? tested, boys. Uh, go get tested. There you go. I like it. Yes. Go talk to your doctor, and if it's appropriate, get screening with a, a, a blood test. Simple as that. Okay. You know, there's more to it if you like, but a blood test is a good start. So it's as easy as just going to my doctor? Go to your doctor, say you want a PSA, but, uh, you know, find out about what your family history's like, you know, and make sure the screening's right for you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, what we do, we make it a lot of fun. So uh, here's what we do in our office. We have the, you pay a little fee, 20 bucks or so, and you're allowed to be a manly man for a month in your office. And you may have some meetings. You know, I call on Walmart. I don't want to go in there and look at all scruffy, but I have my get out of jail free card. It's a man card. So every guy in our office that grows a beard gets it's a, a man, man card. card. Oh, yeah. I got to get me a man card. Got to have a man card. Okay. okay. Now, here's the deal. You got 10 requirements on that man card. Can you name five Burt Rental movies? Because Burt Rental is a man's man. He is a man's man. Can you be as cool as Steve McQueen? That's the coolest guy. He was I know. pretty cool. He was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, here's one for you. Can you drive a five speed? Oh yeah, absolutely. Can you? Absolutely. Well, we got one that's easy for you. Now we have to be able to cook a four course meal, which you got that knocked out. I got out. that dog. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got that one take, taken care of. That's cool. Yeah, and then what we do is uh, whoever raises the most money in our office, we bring them out to our house and we cook up a real man's meal for them with steak, potatoes, salad, and a really good dessert. So awesome. it's a lot of fun. And then the funds we raise go to the Prostate Cancer Foundation down in Little Rock. And the money that we raise up here in Northwest Arkansas stays up here. And anybody that wants to get involved, just let us know. Get your office involved. We will try and post it on our Facebook page, on the website. you got to get your office involved in this. Let's help raise some money for prostate cancer awareness. You guys, grow you a nice beard, man. I'm going to grow one. You're going to get to see me grow a scruffy one Looking next good, month. Man. It's going to be good. good. It's going to be good. And you know what? I'm going to try and raise some money in my office as well. I'm going nice, to see what I nice. can come up with. All right. It's going to be really good. You know what? If you have any questions, you can go out on the web. It's Arkansas Prostate Cancer. Just search it. It'll come up. Give those guys a call. We'll send out a package to you that has all the rules and everything you need to do so you can have a good, successful uh, no-shave November in your office. Really, really good. Folks, when we get back, we're going to get these guys seared up. We're going to get them seared up right now. So we'll show them to you right before we put them in the oven to finish. We're going to make a nice salad and a dressing. It's all going to come together for us. You guys, stick right there. This is cooking today. Sam and I will be right back. Good deal. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We have our steaks all set up, ready to go. We seared them in the cast iron skillet. Man, about two and a half minutes per side yep. is what we did on those. And you can see the beautiful color, that caramelization that they get after just really sitting. Good. You, you have to just leave those guys alone and let them sear for the time and then flip them over and, and they're already set up in a cast iron skillet. You know, you can buy this with the ridges on it so it'll look like grill marks. You can use the grill, whatever you want, but it, it'll all work out it'll good work for out, this man. dish. We're going to get these right into the oven and the oven is set really high for the steaks. So it just, we don't need very long on those guys at all. And we're going to make our dressing yep. for our salad. So let's go ahead and get that done as well, Sam. All right, so we're going to start off with a little olive oil. So what we're going to do is put about uh, three quarters of a cup. Hopefully I've got enough here. We'll squeeze it in there right quick. And I've kind of, um, I've got this nice little mixer that you can put your olive oil or your salad dressing in. Oh, you got one of the little cylinder yeah, mixers? Okay. mixers. You know, it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to go with a little balsamic vinegar. Now on this is about a half a cup. And I, I like this really good stuff. It's like buying fine wine, you know. It's, it's really good balsamic. You can actually put it on ice cream. You can put it on all kinds of stuff when it's really good stuff. Yeah, when the vinegar's good, you can do yeah, a lot with it. Yeah, it's amazing. Now we're going to go with a little honey. 
And on the honey, we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup. Now I do the honey last because my oil's already been in here and it makes it a lot easier to get the honey out. So we just need about a quarter of a cup. And then it's gonna make a nice, sweet salad dressing. All right, that's looking good. That's great. All right, let's pour in and see how well it just pours right in for us. All right, I'll get a little bit extra out there. I think we're looking good. I've added the cheese to our salad. I've added our pecans to our salad. We've okay. added the dried fruit to our salad, the uh, dried berries. We're going to add just a little bit of apples to it. And you can make these as pretty as you want. Just, man, nice be real playful good, with it. Yeah. Little uh, poppy seed goes in there as well. We're going to have the recipes for you later. So now, once you get that, you just mix it up. It's going to have a nice look to it. Now, if you set this in the refrigerator, it's going to probably separate, so make sure you mix it back up yes. after you bring it out. Yep, yep. Always be... make sure you shake up your balsamic, if, whether you're making it at home or you buy it from the store. you got right, to mix it go. up. All oh, right. It's great. It's got a little opener here. There we go. You want to pour it on, Chef? Absolutely. Okay. And let's go ahead and get those steaks right out of the oven. Or uh, let's get our potatoes yeah, out of there. Potatoes. Check those uh, desserts as well. You know what? Potatoes are looking really good. Nice look on the potatoes. Now, of course, we didn't cook a whole lot. For a big family, you would probably want to do twice that much. Correct. All right, and we've got our desserts. Oh man, dressing look this. looks this great. This is looking good. Look at that dressing. That is beautiful. Look how that dessert is just Ooh. bubbling up. That is looking really good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, so our our salad is done. Get our potatoes. I'll just do them like this. And look at this. Look at this nice caramelization we've got on our table uh, potatoes. That's going to have a nice texture to it, a good bite, nice soft interior like a baked potato. Awesome. Let's grab a plate. All right. We'll grab a couple. Okay, we got our salad our done. Salad is done. We're ready to rock on the salad. So, you got some tongs? I or? like to. What you got there? All right, well. Yeah, I'll tell you what we can do. We can just pour a little bit out. I got a measuring cup somewhere here that I love to use. There we That'll go. That'll work, right? That'll there. work. Work. There we go. So we got that. And we're dessert. And this is going to be hot, so make sure you don't grab it, of course. But we'll set that, let it cool, because we're going to eat our steak and everything first. Okay. Tell you what, let's get this out of the way for right now. Yep, we'll set it over part. here. Yep. Grab those steaks yeah, out of there. Steaks. Okay. Mm -mm. Looks good. That mm -mm. looks good. Oh, yeah. Those are ready to go. And you got some in there that are a little rarer than others, so those are going to be good. You can. Pick and choose what you like. Yeah, that's a nice little piece of fillet from earlier. That's good. And Ready? I'm I'm always the middle of the plate guy. You're making it nice and tall and proud. That's good looks. Just kind of who I am, man. There we go. And then we'll get one of these guys right here, and we'll move our move our potatoes right over to the center of the plate. And then we'll get another small one to go with that. And now what I like to do, I'm gonna park this right here. What I like to do, let me grab something out of the fridge real quick. Let's grab I'm set the desserts over here so you can get a good look at the entire meal. Here we go. Once again, it's a manly meal. Good stuff. Oh, look at the parsley. That's going to dress it up nicely. Yeah, I'm always about making sure that it's garnished it well. Way. Yeah, it's okay. All right. We'll just move that right there, and that's probably hot. Whoop. You got tough hands, Chef. Yeah. <laughs> tell you, you've been in the kitchen a long time. Been doing this a do long that, man. time, man. That's looking good. So we just like to take a little bit of fresh parsley and always yep. make sure our plates look good, you know, and are garnished real well. And we're not using a, a a vegetable on the plate here. The vegetable is really our salad, and it's plated separately. So we'll take a little bit of fresh parsley here. And if you want to do something like this. This is okay too. Oh, that looks good. That's okay too. You could use mint, I guess, as well. Whatever, man. Whatever, yeah. Whatever. Kind of herb. Yeah. Whatever looks cool to you. But even with doing that right there, you still could take just a little bit. And I mean, you, you may think this is real simple, real maybe even cheesy, but it makes your plates just look elegant. Just that little dusting. What a great dish. Sam, right. thank you so much for being here, well, man. Well, I appreciate you having me today. Thanks Proud for to have time. you. Guys, grow you a nice beard in November. This is cooking today. All right.